Combat Sweep from Hooks or Open Guard. This is one of my favorites. Hey guys, I'm Coach Tom. I am here with my student Chris. We are going to have a look today at one of my favorite sweeps. Uh, I love this technique. I saw it many years ago and just was something that I was really, it opened up my mind of thinking in jiu-jitsu of what a sweep is. Um, and bordering between a takedown and a sweep and getting to your feet and doing something that's a little bit of a cheat in jiu-jitsu. So when, once you start rolling in jiu-jitsu, whether you're in a competition or especially in a gym, if you actually get to your feet and you're not the person passing guard, it's kind of really weird. Like it's kind of like why are you standing up? But if you do this, it's not weird, you will just get weird results, i.e. very, very high percentages of sweeps and reversals. So I personally love this technique. This is my, uh, my backup. If nothing else works from an open guard for me, this is my move. This will be your move too. I'm telling you guys, try this. You are going to get immediate success. Okay, so let's start in a hooks. Okay, so I'm in a butterfly guard. All right, I can grab either collar. Cross collar, I prefer the cross collar, and you're gonna see why in a second. Same side collar, also absolutely wonderful. Okay, so we'll do a cross collar because I believe this has an advantage, which you'll see later. So I'm going here and I'm trying to sweep this guy, but he's leaning back, like I can't get him. All right, I might be in an open guard, trying to get things off and stuff like this, and I just, he's leaning back and I just can't get in with him, okay? But most commonly, I love doing this from my butterfly guard. So I'm here and he's leaning back and he's not giving me anything. I can't get under him, so I keep my right hand in the collar and I put my left hand on the ground. And now simply, I stand on my right foot here and I bring my left leg under and onto the mat. Just like a technical stand-up, right? Like a self-defense technique. Except I'm gonna grab the collar, I'm not holding my hand out. So I'm here like this, and I get up onto my foot. And now I keep this all locked. I don't wanna use muscles to push people. But because I've got my hips higher than his, if I block his knee, I now run perpendicular to his femur. So that's his main thigh bone here, I run directly opposite that way, okay? So perpendicular. So I'm here and now I just run into him, okay? And then I'm gonna slice my knee through and I would go straight to cross choking, okay? So let's have a look at this one in speed. You are you're gonna be so surprised at how well this works. So I'm here with my partner, okay? I have a cross and I'm trying to do stuff and I can't get anything, okay? So I'm simply going to go one, two, three. And now I simply walk in a perpendicular direction to his thumb. I slice through the guard and I can get my cross choke right away. So we do one at speed. We're here, I'm trying for my hook sweep. I can't get anything. So I just go, okay, and go straight for the neck for the finish. Okay, so that's one of my absolute favorite techniques. It's so killer, it's so hard to stop. You're just gonna beat people, because you're kind of cheating, you're breaking this weird rule, right? So we have all these rules in society, like don't wear hats inside, or you know, um, shake a man's hand if you haven't met him before and you get introduced. There's all these weird rules, and in Jiu Jitsu we have our own rules too, like don't stand up in the middle of the roll, we're rolling. And by actually temporarily abusing those and standing up when you're in guard, it just catches people off. And you can finish them really easy. And I love this one. And the reason I do the cross grip is to get the cross choke. However, you can also get the cross choke if this technique fails. So if I've got Chris here, I've got his cross grip, I go to get up, but for some reason, he just weighs 10 times as much as me. And I can't finish, I grab the wrinkle, I sit down, and I finish right here, cross choke. Okay, so it's a really wonderful technique. I don't see any cons to it. I only see pros. Let me know how well this works for you guys. You're absolutely gonna love it. I'm Coach Tom, I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you loved it. For more videos, click here. And if you wanna to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. I'm Coach Tom, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.